well, it's another day making more progress. I don't remember my last update if I showed all the progress I made. Probably not because it, it's usually dark by the time I'm done. So let's check it out. You can see I got some stain on on the siding. Not a big fan of the color, but it'll at least do for getting me through the winter. I uh, installed the door, so that was pretty huge. I've got uh, the trim. I think I showed that before. Um, all around the roof and right now what you see is um, some tar paper that's gone down um, on the roof. I'm getting ready to put the drip edge on. I'm just racking my drain, brain trying to figure out what I did with the, uh, the tin snips. So uh, that's what I've got in store. The roof is finally going on. It's long overdue. I can no longer procrastinate it. So that's what I'm going to get done today. For this roof installation I'm using two different types of shingles. For the bulk part of the roof I'm going to be using these architectural shingles. For the starter rows and for the ridge cap I'm using standard three tab shingles. The shingle manufacturers make specialized starter strips and they make specialized ridge caps but I find it to be a lot more affordable to just buy um, some three tabs that somewhat match your main shingles and you can use them for both um, and so for this shed for example I think I bought I don't even know I think I bought six bundles which would be two squares of the architectural shingles and then I bought just one bundle to be my starter strip and my ridge cap I can always back, go back and get more. I didn't do any calculations as far as the ridge cap goes, uh, but um, it should be enough. So this video series has evolved from being kind of a how-to to a watch me do it, and now it has turned into a recap video. Zoom out a little bit. Um, because I've completed the work and I didn't necessarily film it, and uh, but it's okay because I think interest was kind of uh, dropping in this series anyway, and I don't really want to bore you guys. It's kind of not my purpose here. So let's take a look at the finished shed here. Let me just walk out here so you can get the full thing. And there we go. So, roofed, painted, doors put on, trims put on. Um, everything's good. So now let me take you around and show you kind of all the finishing touches I did and I'll take, let you take a look inside and see what I did, the reason why I built this shed. Alright, up here on the roof you see I completed the roof <coughs> construction, the, the shingling. Pretty straightforward, it's not my first rodeo when it comes to putting shingles on a roof. So I, I decided to use the architectural shingles to make the ridge cap. I think it turned out pretty nice and it matches really well and it was a little bit less work for me to do that so that's why I went with that. I pre-painted the trim before I put it on uh, which saves you a whole lot of time and trouble. Um, it's highly suggested. I wanted a kind of a continuous uh, four inch um, here we go four inches all the way on all the trim so in order to do that on the corner, what I do is I take a 1x4, put it on the face, and then I use a 1x3 and put it on the side. And so the 1x3 plus the 3 quarters of an inch of the 1x4 pretty much gets you to 3.5 inches, which is what the 1x4 measurement is. Um, as you can see, I, I trimmed it all out. I painted my little ridge post there just to give a nice little detail. Um, everything's good. The, I feel like the overhang might be a little excessive on this roof. I don't. It, it won't affect anything. It just looks wise. It looks like it's wearing a big hat. Um, and one thing I've noticed is along here, since no grass grows over here, where the rain falls off of the roof, it's starting to dig a little trench. So that's something I'm going to have to 
uh, work on. Um, well, I'm going to have to try to get grass to grow in this whole area. If you can see, not much grass grows here. And it, it's going to turn into a big muddy mess if I don't do something about it soon. The door installation went, uh, went pretty good. We open up here. And the purpose of this shed was just to store my extra stuff. So I've got my generator here right by the door handy in case I need it. My chainsaws, uh, lawnmower, bicycles, kayak. What else? Fertilizer, seed spreaders, sled, lawn chairs, tents and tarps. I was going to hang a bunch of stuff from the ceiling, but I decided against it because it's hard to get it up there and then it's hard to get it down and the likelihood of us using something hung up in the ceiling like that, it's pretty slim. So, there's my shed. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you do, hit that thumbs up button and give me a like. Like projects like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a video, at least one video a week that comes out, sometimes two, sometimes more. And um, thanks for watching. My name's Tom. I'll see you guys next time.